everybody, I am Kaiju Cooper, and we are back. Finally, I am getting to do another review, and it is these two. These are Christmas gifts, and I am very excited to do this review. I have wanted these two for a while now, but um, they were pretty expensive. Uh, this was, you know, I I'm really glad I got these guys. And first thing, before we even go over any... Um, details on the figures. I want to go over the box itself. It comes in this huge box, and I really love the size of this box. Get some really beautiful artwork here. Get the hieroglyphics. I don't even know. And like I said, some very, very good artwork. Battle Across Time Collection. I'm not sure if I'll be getting Sky Warp and Red Alert. Probably not. But one thing I do want to point out is that if you had the box for them, you could connect it with this box as you can see there's some of sky warps feathers right there and if you look in the background you can also see waspinator turn to the side here you see the actual dino bot and we have grimlock here which is kind of weird and we have star scream up in the sky we turn to the back to get some nice product images something is just so much different about the faces here i just can't put my finger on it but um yeah, along with the obvious product images of them in their robot modes, and I think I have the guns on this one wrong. Yeah, I have them backwards. But uh, the side of the box here, if you want to take a look at that, it's some more really nice artwork. I'm just going to switch the weapons out on this one real quick. There we go. And we get some more really nice artwork. This is on the side of most of the kingdom boxes. As you can see, there's Galvatron. Uh, Galvatron and Megatron, kind of. This is the crown of Galvatron and then Megatron's bucket head. And then you also have Unicron in the background there. The golden disc, Dinobot. Don't know what that's supposed to be. Maybe the Ark? No, that's the Ark. Uh, you have Rhinox. The Nemesis, Black Arachnia. Predacon, Megatron, um, Scorponok, just tons of characters here. I'm sorry if you hear any background noise, probably my little sister. And Optimus and the crew in the front. Pretty good box, pretty good box. Obviously the bottom just has some warnings and authentic Transformers product. Takara, all this good stuff. And the Maximal and Autobot symbols. I'm wondering when they're going to do a Predacon and... Um, well, I mean, if they do it, because I think Kingdom's over at this point, but I'm wondering if they're going to do a Decepticon and Predacon 2-pack. Might even get, I don't know. But here we have the two figures in their alternate modes. They came packaged in robot modes, but I thought it'd be cooler to do it this way. Um, we're going to go over Mirage first, because I like this guy act uh, a little bit more. And... Um, there's like a lot of, lot of good things, um, I keep hearing about this Mirage. People really like the vehicle mode and the robot mode. I think it's way better than the Siege figure. Got that cut away. Um, as you can see, there is the weapon storage here. And this is supposed to be a race car. It doesn't have, um, I feel like there should be like a glass dome here, but whatever. There are... There's 26 on each side, and that is for later. Uh, if you also have a blast effect part, as you can see here, you can tab into either of these guns. And there is more stuff you can do in the robot mode, but I will uh, point that out in the robot mode uh, with the guns, that is. Um, the the seam down the middle is pretty crappy. I, I hate it. It doesn't like staying together. It kind of messes up the Autobot symbol. The wheels are very nicely sculpted. I really like the way they look. They look very different, though. Um, yeah. There's a, just a lot of a, a lot of good detailing on this, and the car mode is really, really clean, even the back of it. Yeah, I, I really do like this car mode. I, I really do. Now, on to the dinosaur mode for Maximal Grimlock. This is a repaint of Dinobot. Uh, actually, slight retool. There's a different head sculpt, but mostly just different paint. And I like this guy 
more than Dinobot, mainly because of the head sculpt and the color scheme, which is kind of everything, all the differences for this figure, so, uh, whatever. <laughs> this beast mode is really good. As you can see, he's got a little bit of a thing going on there, and he has feet on his butt. Wow. You can also remove the tail, but that's for later. Uh, there is just a slight nitpick I have. It really doesn't matter, and I think it's better that they had it like this. As you can see, the black stripe doesn't go all the way across the tail. And that is because of... Can I get it? Because of this. But I really do think that's better, because it definitely would have paint chipped right here. If it didn't have that. And his thighs don't like staying together at all. No matter how hard I try, they just won't 100% clip together. Articulation on this mode is pretty good. Can't really move his head up and down or swivel it, so that's incredibly disappointing. Let me adjust my camera real quick. That's incredibly disappointing. You do get some mouth articulation, and he can look down, but that is more for the transformation. <laughs> Uh, but, wow, my voice cracked, like, really badly just now. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, he opens his mouth about that wide. Get some red in there, and then looks like he just ate some crap at the top of his mouth. Jeez. Uh, arm articulation is pretty good, although he has really flat hands, and I kind of hate that, like, a lot. Ew. And they, where they go in the robot mode, it doesn't even make sense for them to be this long and skinny and flat. They could have just made them a lot shorter with claws out. But, uh, yeah, articulation on them is still good, although they can't move up at all. That's kind of annoying. Uh, leg articulation is blocked by the thigh piece. You can move out. But it can't really move forward at all because of the thigh piece. Once again, I apologize if you hear any background noise. Um, he can bend his knee, and he can uh, move his ankle forward and turn it. And he gets some foot articulation. But that's more for the robot mode. Both of these guys are pretty good. I like the alternate modes a lot. So, um, yeah, uh, without further ado, I'd say let's get... <laughs> I took off the tail during the transformation. There is one thing that you can do with it, and there's actually a couple of things. You want to make sure you have the arms posed the way you want them. And you're going to notice that there's actually a little notch there in the hand. You want to grab his tail weapon, you're going to want to plug it into there. And you're going to want to flip it open. And now you get this big thingamajigger. Don't know exactly what this is supposed to be. I've seen on other Dinobot figures and different Grimlock toys. Um, at least Grimlocks that are retextures of Dinobots. Um, that have a missile firing feature. But uh, this doesn't have that. And I'm kind of glad it doesn't. Because that would get really annoying. And one thing I want to point out in transformation, I think I actually had a mistransformed. You're supposed to have these parts flipped out into the chest. Um, sorry about that. Uh, into the chest in dinosaur mode, but I had them still flipped in. So, yeah. Um, there are lots of hollow bits here, and they just look out of place for no reason. What, well, like, what, what? What did you gain from having that there? Three cents? Jesus Christ. For Mirage, it's understandable because of the transformation. That transformation. That 
Transformation. All of this, transformation, but the figure still looks pretty good. If you ignore all of that. This is no masterpiece bumblebee. That thing was an abomination. And you have the weapons here, which obviously just plug in each of his hands. Not that hard. Don't think I have to explain it. Once you do that, you have some pretty nice looking weapons and you can also uh, unplug the missile. And that actually has a practical purpose. You want to take them. Oh, whatever. It's not your turn, Grimlack. You want to take the missile, either uh, first unplug both of the weapons. You want to store it somewhere on the body or just not store it at all. You could put it uh, here in either of the hands, but try not to put it in the hands or there. Put it on the legs or on the back. You got to choose one of those at least. And once you're done, you can take both of his weapons and plug them together to make a really big rifle. What would I like to do? I'd like to flip it like that. Go to underneath the arm. Plug it in underneath the arm. Rotate it around and plug in the bottom. Once you're done with that, you should have a pretty nice looking Gatling gun. And obviously, take the blast effect part from earlier. This comes with some of the wep some of the weaponizers. Plug that in there. And that looks pretty darn good. And I like keeping this plugged in the back. Yeah, it gets it out right now. We'll just put it in the leg. Just gonna leave that right there. And now we're gonna move on to Grimlock. Uh, Dinobot, pretty much. And oh, this part back here has a hard time tapping in. But this is a really, really good figure, and he is my favorite of the two pack. First thing I'm gonna go over is. The biggest sculpting change so far, this head sculpt is beautiful. Uh, it's reminiscent of Grimlock, but it doesn't look like him at the same time. Uh, the green eyes, especially the green eyes instead of his red visor. Actually, let me see if I can get some better lighting. There we go. Uh, green eyes, two separate green eyes instead of a big red visor. A gray mouth plate without all those grates in it, so... Yeah, my biggest complaint with the figure is like the lack of like budget that went into him. All the budget went to that guy. It like really. Oh, and one more thing that a lot of Transformers fans point out: on the original figure, he had a tab in the shoulder you could plug the rocket launcher into, but he doesn't have it anymore. People like complaining about it. And personally, I don't care. I really don't. It's not that big of a deal. and just plug it into the other hand. Back to Grimlock. Most of the painting budget obviously went to that guy. Because, man, this guy's lacking. The main reason people bought this two-pack was actually for Mirage instead of Grimlock. But uh, the reason I wanted this two-pack was actually because of Grimlock. I love the way Grimlock looks. Um, the backpack isn't too bad. It's a little chunky though. It doesn't flow together that well. But back to this head sculpt. It looks really nice. And I really appreciate it. You can't and I will go over the articulation later. But once again about the painting, these eyes on the chest were left completely unpainted. Meanwhile, all these green eyes, and there's green eyes there, green eyes there. And the black stripe isn't here either. Making the little bits of green just seep through even more. Would have looked so much better if he had all of those things I just pointed out. In fact, if we actually go back to the box. may notice that even here, the image doesn't have it. You flip it to the front, you can see in the artwork he has 
those details and it looks freaking awesome. Absolutely love that. Love it. It's too bad that they didn't add it. So, you know, whatever. Let's get back to the actual figure. Oh, there's a weird sound. You have the tail splits apart, no dirt, but you take this out and you get the sword. This is Dinobots, iconic pair of weapons. Uh, uses these during the show. Then he dies horribly, you know, all that good stuff. This is the big spinny shield that he always plugged into his hand, and it just spun. And then he can also fly with it, too. I, I'm not making this up, I swear. He literally used it like a propeller. It was so stupid, but I loved it. Um, yeah, I, I really do like they included the tail shield and everything instead of just engineering something new. And you also get the sword. It's unpainted, just white. Would have been nice if they cast it in at least a different plastic. Uh, Dinobot has like a bright pink sword. Looks really cool. Like hot pink, hot chrome pink. Looks pretty cool. And he can hold that. And this sword is unique to Dinobot and Grimlock. Not compatible with any other Transformers. At least not to my knowledge. But other Transformers can hold this. You know, it's not, let me just give you an example, if we just unplug this, jeez, Un unplug that, you can kind of plug it in, the peg is incredibly short, you plug it in there, yep, <sighs> not really much you can do with that, huh, just, out of there and let's get mirage out of here for now i really do like the sword by itself though it does look really good and i did try but you cannot peg it in like that at all so that sucks but I do like having them hold it uh, when I got these guys out of the box, they had incredibly tight joints, especially Mirage here. I actually didn't even know he had a waist swivel. It was stuck. Like, stuck. Like, they glued it in place. So, I, I just really had to put a lot of force onto it, and it, and it broke. Or, I think, it, it made, like, a really horrible plastic snapping sound. I hated it. But he, now he has a waist swivel. I don't even know what happened. Just, maybe just the poor man in China, the factory worker, just had a misfire. Jesus Christ. But we'll get down to articulation real quick. Oh, did I break it? Okay. Uh, we'll get down to articulation and I'll end the review with some size comparisons. A yeah, nice ball joint at the head. Or it could turn, it can also go in, that's for the transformation. It can also go in there, that's not for the transformation, but it does allow for a lot of upwards movement, but you gotta use this whenever you're trying to go outwards. It also swivels there, bends there, swivels there. And he has some creepy crab claw hand articulation. That is actually pretty cool. I really do like it. Can twist his waist. No ab crunch or anything. But it's a mainline transformer. So that's not surprising. Kick that far. Uh, doesn't really go back that much at all. Do get a beautiful spread on that though. Woo. <laughs> you also get a really tight thigh swivel. Hinge joint and a pivot. And a little bit of up and down, I guess. More for the transformation, but articulation is articulation. Now we get Mirage up here. Falls one at the head, much more limited. Then Grimlock's swivel goes out. Bends. Uh, no wrist swivel, but you do get a bicep swivel that I forgot to mention. Waist swivel. Uh, kick that far. Back that much. Get a waist, I mean a uh, thigh swivel, hinge joint, 
and a slight pivot. And of course, each of these guys comes with two accessories, two weapons, and I really do like them. Now, on to the size comparisons. We only have a few figures to compare this time, but uh, I will still compare them nonetheless. So, here we have more for Cybertron, spoiler pack, Ultra Magnus. Also, I have Studio Series. Oop, legs are a little messed up. B127, who is about the size of Mirage, I'm pretty sure. A little bit shorter, actually. That's a surprise. Also have the 19... Oh. Uh, the 1990s Mechagodzilla. Bandai Vinyl. Very, very, very tall boy. And finally, we have... Hasbro, um, Atmosphere Iron, I mean, sorry, uh, yeah, Atmosphere Iron Man. Please go check out that video, by the way, it severely underperformed. Thank you all for watching this video, and I really appreciate all, I really appreciate any of you who stuck around this long, thank you so much. Uh, thank you all for the support, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.